Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, picture this. Prince Harry, our favorite ginger royal turned California dreamboat, decides he's gonna save the planet. Noble, right? But wait, it gets better. He doesn't just want to save the planet. He wants to do it with style. Enter Meghan Markle, his better half and apparently, the secret weapon in the fight against climate change. At least, that's what Harry seems to think. Now, Harry's got this brilliant idea. He's thinking, hey, you know what climate week in New York City needs. A touch of Hollywood glamour, because nothing says serious environmental action like a former actress turned duchess, right? I mean, who needs actual climate scientists when you've got someone who once held a briefcase on deal or no deal? So, our boy Harry rings up Dennis Francis, the big cheese, at the United Nations General Assembly. And let me tell you, this call must have been more awkward than a penguin at a formal dinner party. Harry's probably there, all excited, thinking he's about to drop the mick with this genius plan. Dennis, my man. I imagine he says, because in my head, Harry talks like a Mindy's rapper. I've got just the thing to spice up your climate week. How about we get Megan up on that stage? She'll dazzle him with her charm, but dazzle him with her smile, and before you know it, we'll have saved the polar bears. But Dennis Francis, oh boy, he wasn't having any of it, in a move that probably left Harry more shocked than the time he realized Las Vegas hotel rooms have cameras. Francis shut it down faster than an iceberg melting in the Arctic. Now, let's pause for a moment and appreciate the absolute chutzpah of this move. Harry, bless his heart, thought he was offering the UN a golden ticket. In his mind, he was probably imagining crowds of young, impressionable activists hanging on Megan's every word, ready to trade in their plastic straws for paper ones at a moment's notice. But Francis? He looked at this offer like it was a sea turtle being handed a plastic six-pack ring. Thanks, but no thanks, he basically said. We're here to talk about saving the planet, not boost someone's Instagram following. Ouch. Talk about a royal snub. This is the kind of rejection that'd make even Simon Cowell wince. But here's where it gets really juicy. Francis didn't just say no. He apparently emphasized that Climate Week was about substantive dialogue rather than celebrity allure. In other words, he basically told Harry, we're here to work, not to keep up with the Kardashians, er, Sussexes. Can you imagine the look on Harry's face? This is a guy who's used to people falling over themselves to accommodate him. I bet he was more confused than a vegan at a barbecue festival. And Megan? Oh, to be a fly on the wall when Harry had to break the news to her. Sorry, darling. Looks like you won't be saving the world this week. Maybe try TikTok. But let's be real for a hot second. This whole situation is more complex than a climate model. On one hand, you've got to admire Francis for sticking to his guns. In a world where we're more likely to listen to a celebrity than a scientist, it's kind of refreshing to see someone say, nah, we're gonna stick with the experts on this one. On the other hand, you can't help but wonder if this was a missed opportunity. I mean, let's face it, Meghan Markle gets more press for changing her hairstyle than most climate scientists get in their entire careers. Could her star power have brought more attention to these crucial issues? It's the classic dilemma of our times, substance versus style. Do we need more glitz and glamour to get people to care about the planet? Or do we need to double down on the facts and figures? And let's not forget the elephant in the room, or should I say, the private jet on the tarmac. Harry and Meghan haven't exactly been poster children for low-carbon living. Remember all those flights they took while preaching about climate change? That's the kind of irony that'd make even Alanis Morissette raise an eyebrow. So maybe, just maybe, Francis was doing them a favor. Can you imagine the field day the press would have had if Meghan had shown up to talk about reducing carbon footprints right after stepping off a private plane? The memes would have broken the internet. But here's the thing that's really got me scratching my head. Why did Harry think this was a good idea in the first place? I mean, I get it. He's trying to make a difference. But surely he must realize that his wife, as lovely and charismatic as she is, isn't exactly a climate scientist. It's like he's playing some kind of royal version of Pokemon. Gotta catch all the causes. 
Mm. We've done mental health. We've done gender equality. Ooh, climate change. Gotta catch that one too. And poor Megan. She must be feeling more sidelined than a bench warmer at the Super Bowl. First, she leaves behind her acting career. Then she leaves behind the royal family. And now she can't even get a gig talking about polar bears. Talk about a fall from grace. But let's zoom out for a second and look at the bigger picture. This whole kerfuffle is really a microcosm of a much larger issue, the role of celebrities in activism. It's a debate that's been raging longer than Harry's been growing that beard. On one side, you've got the folks who say celebrities can bring much needed attention to important causes. And let's be honest, they're not wrong. When Leonardo DiCaprio talks about climate change, people listen. When Angelina Jolie visits a refugee camp, it makes the news. But on the other side, you've got the people who say that celebrity involvement trivializes serious issues. They argue that complex problems like climate change can't be solved with a catchy slogan and a photo op. And you know what? They've got a point too. I mean, how many times have we seen a celeb get involved in a cause, only to move on to the next trendy issue a few months later? It's like they're treating global crises like fashion trends. Darling, climate change is so last season. This year, it's all about ocean plastics. So where does that leave us? Well, if you ask me, and since you're reading this, I'm going to assume you are, it leaves us in a bit of a pickle, or should I say, a sustainably sourced, locally grown cucumber. On one hand, we desperately need to get more people engaged with issues like climate change. And like it or not, celebrities have a platform that can reach millions. If Harry and Meghan can get even a fraction of their fans to care about the environment, isn't that a win? But on the other hand, do we really want to turn serious global issues into just another celebrity sideshow? Do we want people to care about climate change because it's the right thing to do or because their favorite duchess told them to? It's a tricky balance, and I don't envy Dennis Francis for having to walk that tightrope. But you know what? Maybe he's onto something. Maybe what we really need isn't more celebrity spokespeople, but more everyday heroes. Think about it. For every Harry and Meghan, there are thousands of regular folks out there doing the hard work of fighting climate change. They're the ones installing solar panels, organizing beach cleanups, lobbying their local governments for greener policies. They're the ones making real change, one small step at a time. So maybe, just maybe, Francis did us all a favor by saying no to Meghan. Maybe he reminded us that saving the planet isn't about glitz and glamour, it's about rolling up our sleeves and getting to work. And who knows, maybe this will be a wake-up call for Harry and Meghan. Maybe instead of trying to swoop in and save the day with a speech, they'll get involved in a more meaningful way plant some trees, start a community garden, or heck, just take a commercial flight for once. At the end of the day, climate change is bigger than any one person, royal or not. It's going to take all of us working together to make a difference. And while it might not be as exciting as a royal speech, that's the kind of star power our planet really needs. So what do you think? Was Francis right to give Meghan the royal snub? Or did he miss out on a chance to bring some Sussex sparkle to the climate fight? Are you Team Francis or Team Sussex? Or are you like me, just sitting here with your reusable popcorn container, enjoying the show? Whatever side you're on, one thing's for sure, the fight against climate change is the real royal drama we should all be paying attention to. It's got higher stakes than any palace intrigue, and the consequences are a lot more serious than a snarky comment from the Queen. So let's raise a glass, a reusable one, of course, to Dennis Francis for reminding us what really matters. And hey, Harry and Meghan, if you're reading this, and let's face it, you probably are. Hey guys, don't let this get you down. There's plenty of room in the climate fight for everyone, even former royals and ex-actresses. Just maybe leave the speechifying to the experts next time, yeah. So stay tuned, my friends. Because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the Royals, it's that the drama never stops. And neither do I. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the Royal family. Thank you.